In the previous video, we saw how we can use Screencast-O-Matic to record a video that your students can view at a different time. In this video, we're going to discuss Zoom. Zoom can be uh, used to record a live session, which means that your students can log in and actually communicate with you during this session. Um, then you can record that video and be saved as well for other students to see who were not able to attend the session. So to start with Zoom, you would go to the, you can download the Zoom app. You need to make sure that you register. Once you have the Zoom app, then you go into Zoom. You can click on the start video if you would like the camera and if you would like to see your students. Um, you can invite people to join you in this um, meeting by sending, an, uh, sending them an email or you can just copy the URL and send it through um, email. You can manage your participants. So here, um, for example, if I had another participant, you could give them uh, the control of being the host, which means that they could share their screens um, and so on. You can mute them. So if you hear some students who maybe have a barking dog or something is happening that is distracting the class, then you can simply mute them here so that the background noise does not um, interrupt what everybody is doing. You can click the button down here to mute everybody or you can, and then make sure you unmute them if you're waiting for the students to respond to your questions. Um, you can send a chat. So you can say here, hello, everyone. And people can respond to that. The chat is important because some students might not have a speaker to speak. However, they can use a telephone to log in. When you first set the meeting up, it's going to show you um, the number that they can use. Always before you start your Zoom session, you need to make sure that you press the record button. Because if you don't press the record button, then it's not going to record anything. And here, as you for the mute the speaker, um, you can switch to phone audio. So the students would have the, those options there. And the share screen, if we click on that, this is where you can click on your um, screen. And what that means is that it's going to basically see everything that you are doing on the screen. Um, this is really nice because if a student is struggling with how to log into something, you can have them uh, share their screen and you can actually see what's going on in the back of in their computer to be able to help them. The other thing that you can do is you can um, share the whiteboard. So basically the whiteboard here will allow you to draw anything in here. Okay, you can add text. And so, um, you can use this to do some problems or again um, what I like to use is the screen because then I can bring up a PowerPoint for example let me pick one so for example I can say okay I can bring up a PowerPoint and then I can just write on the PowerPoint, solve some problems for the students. You can also um, schedule your, your meetings. So for example, you can say, I want this to start next week. You can make it reoccurring. So if you want it every Monday, um, you would click on that. And then it's going to tell you 
um, basically how often you want to repeat it. Your ID, you can get a personal ID or generate automatically. You can put a password for your students if you like. Um, you want to be the host. And then here is important. If you want students to log in with a telephone, the computer mics, or both. So I would check the both because some students might not have a mic. And then you can place it in the calendars here. If you have an iPhone or iPad, you can use it as well to connect. And then you can use the iPhone to um, connect to use it as a camera for when you're writing. The other thing you can do is, let me just go back to my screen. And so basically that is um, how you would use Zoom. So let's check here um, what happens once we want to stop the program. So if I come here, I would say if you want to pause it, maybe you had to cough or something, you can pause it. You can stop recording. So I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. So once you stop recording, then you can end the meeting. Oh, and before, before I stop the recording, um, one of the things that you can do with Zoom is that you can have breakout rooms. And so that by having the breakout rooms, um, you'll be able to have students. Basically, you can send students to one room, send other students to another room, and they can discuss uh, different problems. You could also change your background if you have your camera on. So I'm going to go ahead and end the meeting. And so it's going to convert it. Since we have the free option, it records to your computer. And so you are not able to get a, a link that you can just send your students to view. You actually have to take your recording and it's going to be an mp4 and you can add it to your blackboard which i'll show you right now how to do i guess while this is converting let me go ahead and open blackboard So I got a blackboard. Let me log in. Courses. I'm going to put it in this course over here. And so you would choose a place where you want to put the course. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. So I would say build content. I'm going to add a video. And I'm going to call this um, using Zoom to record a live session. So you browse your computer. You locate the folder in which you have your videos for Zoom. So I'm going to click open and it gives you three files. Pick the one that says Zoom and say open. And if you notice here, it tells you it's an MP4 player. And you can say um, auto start, so it starts automatically, or you can wait for the student to actually press the start button. I'm going to track it to see how many people watch this video. And then you would say submit. And now your video is on Blackboard. So 
we'll press play. So if you can see, um, the video will keep going. And so we can go back to Blackboard. And so this is really nice because it's simple. You just put it in here. Um, the other thing you can do is if you have a YouTube channel, let me go to YouTube. Then you can also upload it to YouTube. So I'm going to press upload and then we would upload it in here. So you would pick the class and then upload it into your um, YouTube. And so basically um, that is how we would use the um, Zoom.